All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design. Learn more about CSS pseudo selectors by building a balance sheet. Step 66. So now we're going to create another selector for the TD elements within our TR data element, but specifically select the last one. Uh, then we're going to give it a right padding of 0.5 rim, and that will be the end of this. All right. So we're going to say uh, the same as up here. So tr.data, tr.data, td. But this time we're going to use the pseudo selector. Uh, instead of nth of type, this time we'll say last of type. And we're going to have this, have the little curly braces like this. And we're going to say uh, padding hyphen right is going to be 0.5 rem. All right, so these ones just moved over just a little bit. Let's uh, check it. Looks good and submit it. All right, and now we're gonna do the good old Picasso right after this one. This one's uh, this one's very interesting. Uh, and so now we're on to step one of the Picasso painting, and we'll see you next time.